Hi, this is Richard C. I'm a math tutor here at Wise Inn, answering a question submitted by a student. And uh, looks like this is an Algebra 2 student, maybe, probably an honor student, because this question is kind of tricky. So I want to first rewrite these uh, so that you can read them more, so that they can be read more easily. Uh, So this is the log base B of 5 is equal to 2. And then the log base B of 3 is equal to 7. And then the log base B of 11 is equal to 2. So we're going to use properties of logs to get us through this so log base b of 5, we already have that up here, you see. That's really nice. Log base b of 5. This is log base b of 5. We'll just leave that alone. And we don't have a log base b of 9, but we do have a log base b of 3. So I'm going to write this as log base b of 3 squared, because 3 squared is 9. So we're going to use one of the laws of logs. And I'll put this out here in blue. Log base B of x to the a, to the a power, is just the exponent comes out in front. We're just going to use that law now. So this is going to be log base b of 5 minus 2 log base b of 3. Once we have that, now we can just substitute in. Log base b of 5 is just 2 here, minus 2. And log base b of 3 is 7. So this is going to give me 2 minus 14, so it's going to be negative 12. It's really hard to see what you do, what to do, if you don't have these laws of logs memorized. So this is an, an exponential law, or a power law, which we needed on this one. Let's take a look at this next one. Log base b, 15 over 121. And for this one, we're going to use the division law. So that says that the log base b of x over y is just log base b of x minus log base b y, like that. And we'll just come back here. We're going to use that property. So this is the log base b 15 minus the log base b. Instead of 121, I'm going to write 11 squared because we're going to use the power rule again here. So 11 squared is 121. So I did two steps in one line here. We first use the division rule, and then we use the power rule to bring that exponent in, to bring, well, there's no exponent here, but we use the power rule up here to bring the exponent in front. Okay, so once again, using the same log base B of 15, Oh, that's the log base B of 3 times 5. Minus 2 log base B of 11. So I just wrote 15 as 3 times 5, and I... 
brought the exponent in front like I could because of this property up here. And finally, we need one more property, which is the multiplication property, which is the log base B of XY is just the log base B of X plus log base B of Y. So now I'm going to use that. So this is the log base B of 3 plus the log base B of 5 minus 2 log base B of 11. And now I can just look these up. So log base B of 3 is 7. Log base B of 5 is 2 minus 2. Log base B of 11 is 2. So that's going to be 9 minus 4, which is 5. So it's not easy to do this one, especially when you're learning logs for the first time. Um, the main thing is to memorize these properties of logs, and it'll just you do, it'll just give you the insight you need to do when you're faced with a problem like this one. Okay, so I hope I hope this is okay, and uh, just keep at it. Don't be discouraged by this. Um, it's it's difficult material because it's difficult to see. Once you see it, it's not that hard. Okay, that's it for today. See you next time. Bye bye.